Francisco Schweitzer. Mario, I got to start with you. Okay. Okay. Explain how this app works. So how the app was actually working is that you would download this app called Girls Around Me, and then what it would do is it would check for venues that are around you and then identify the people that have also checked into those venues. So a, 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 an example would be you go to a restaurant or you're in the vicinity of a restaurant and you want to see what other people have publicly checked in. And then what this app would do, though, is it would aggregate all of their public information from Facebook and Foursquare and allow you to drill down on them in one dashboard. Okay. Um, is it easy to opt out of that if you want to? No, it was not easy to opt out, opt out of this because really what the company was doing wasn't technically illegal. They were pulling information from Facebook and Foursquare that was publicly made available. So if you personally publicly made your information available on that site, all this app did was pull that information into it, and it made it easier for people to kind of aggregate all of that information in one view. Hmm. Mario, are there apps like this that help you find guys, or is it just the women? Yeah, no, we don't have it. There's no app. There are websites and things out there, but there's no app that we are, know about today that's called, you know, Guys Around Me or Find Boys mm -hmm. Around Me. I, I, I'm not surprised. Um. <laughs> and that's where the problem is. You know, not only is the, the name of the app just, like, wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> just morally just wrong and just inappropriate. Not only that, it's also the imagery that they use to promote it, to make it really look like, you know, sexual uh, imagery of women in kind of like these Bond, James Bond-like images. So it kind of automatically begged for someone to want to stalk women using this app. And, and that's where I want to bring in Hugo. Hugo, I got a tweet today from the Women's Resource Center to end domestic violence. They wanted to weigh in on this, okay? So I'm going to, I want you to respond to this. This is what they tweeted. Girls Around Me is a violation of privacy made worse, Hugo, because it targets women and facilitates crimes they are most vulnerable to. Can I get you to speak to that? Absolutely. Thank you, Rochelle. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first thing I'd like to say really quickly is I wish they would develop an app called Guys Around Me Who Are Using Girls Around Me so that a woman could find out in a second whether the guy approaching her had used this app to find her. That would be a cool app. Well, Seriously. Oh, to that point, let me stop you. Rhonda, tw Rhonda tweeted this, uh, Hugo. How about an app called Creepy Stalkers Around Me? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think that, 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 that's a great app. But, but you know what's funny? Uh, Mario, hold on one sec. Let me let Hugo make his point. Okay, sure. Yeah, seriously, this is, this is enabling stalking. And mm. so much of the blame in the conversation around this gets put on women for disclosing their private information. As if women aren't allowed to let their friends know when they're uh, checking into a club or going to a coffee shop. We need to hold men accountable for how they encounter women. Guys are not so socially clueless that they can't use the age-old method of making eye contact, saying hello, and taking a little bit of safe initiative. This is enabling very dangerous behavior, and it's a really creepy app. And when you say that, Hugo, if you could pick up on Mario's point, even when he talks about the, the imagery of the app, is a little disturbing as well. Absolutely. It's, it's very heavily sexualized. It's not as if it's suggesting, here are some interesting single women that you could get to know. This is about facilitating, at best, a hookup, at worst, perhaps, assault or some other unwanted sexual encounter. This is really driving home a very base impression of why guys want to know who the girls are around them. The one helpful thing about the imagery, though, Do tell. the one helpful thing is that it drives home the point that this is not an innocent app. This is not just a sweet way for shy guys to figure out who's there. This right. has an agenda to it, and the imagery reminds us of that. Uh, guys, good to have two guys in on this conversation. Mario, I'm sorry. I'm out of I can tell you have more to say. I can oh, tell. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, though, both. Uh, Hugo, Hugo Schweitzer and Mario Armstrong, we're going to have to continue this conversation. Mario, keep us posted Thank on whether or not so this app uh, ends up actually going live again, okay? Keep us posted. Okay, we'll do. Good.